Hi, and welcome to the video. So as you can already tell by the title, I'm already a big fan of this patch. This has brought everything that I was asking for. I mean, my initial reaction from the first few hours of playing with this is this. I've just been experimenting all the things that have been changed, and so far, I don't really have a whole lot of things to complain about. So I'm really just going to go over a couple of major callouts on this. I'm going to leave a link to the actual patch notes in the description, so if you want to go through and look at all the nitty-gritty details, you're more than welcome to. I'm really just going to call out some of the things that were sticking out to me or things that I was really looking forward to. So I want to talk about stratagems and a few that were actually buffed that I really wanted to call out. First and foremost, my baby, the Orbital Precision Strike, had a major buff in that its cooldown was dropped from 100 seconds to 90 seconds, so literally just a minute and a half, as well as the call-in time being dropped from 4 seconds to 2 seconds, which, by the way, even with the modifiers on Helldive with bots, that increases your call-in time. It's a 4 second call-in time max with your um, ship being fully upgraded. Now, those of you that have already watched my prior video about the Orbital Precision Strike, you guys already knew that I thought this thing was great. And after this, you can honestly just hit moving targets with ease once you get the timing down with it. I mean, if you haven't been using this, I highly recommend you swap to it now. It is super strong at this point. There was also a pretty significant change to the Eagle 110 rocket pods in that they increased the tracking and the penetration. It looks like they doubled the actual penetration damage, or at least my understanding of it from the patch notes, but they lowered the overall damage, but from the comments left about the patch note changes for it, it's an overall buff and at least not a nerf to it, and in my testing, it honestly does seem a bit more consistent. I was seeing a lot more direct impacts on hulks and chargers, but I definitely need to play around a little bit more, so let me know what you think about this change. But I've honestly been finding myself replacing a support weapon with just taking the 110 rocket pod and using this as my anti-tank with a 500 kilogram or an order precision strike as my backup. Ooh, and I also want to make a quick shout out about the Gatling Barrage. So they doubled the salvo from 30 shots to 60. They also increased the fire rate by 25% and it's a little bit better at going up against some of the um, heavily armored enemies. They increased the pen on it and it just seems and sounds cool as fuck to use now. And I, you know, if I drop it on a bug breach or a bot drop, I regularly get somewhere between 4 to maybe 8, 10 kills on the high end. It looks cool as shit, dude. I would say just use it just for the simple factor that it's fun and something different to use. But in some other good news, though, about guns, the spear was finally fixed, and I have to say, it is snappy, it is fast, it is intuitive. I probably said the same thing twice, but overall, it's a huge improvement. Just a heads up, though, for whatever reason, there's a new problem with it in that you can't use it to target fabricators. So there is a trade-off there, which you only get four missiles anyway. You probably shouldn't be using it against fabricators to begin with. Moving on to something a little bit more disappointing, the Plaz Purifier, I, I don't know man, it still doesn't feel really great to me to use, it doesn't feel all that different, I guess it feels a bit more consistent with Striders, but uh, I, I still swap off of it. I do have to say though, the buffs of the Heavy Machine Gun have given it a new life for me, and it is damn fun to use, highly recommend this one. Speaking of highly recommend, the new s shotgun in the uh, Warbond, ooh! This thing, even though it's going to be light armor penetrating, this thing is a joy to use. And then slagging off all three barrels at once is a joy, even though it's a gimmick. But still, go ahead and go for it. Oh, and also, crossbow. You can now use it to blow up fabricators and bug holes. And lastly for the guns, pretty much most every single assault rifle either had its durable damage either doubled or highly increased, which in case you're not aware, durable body parts are in general are body parts that have a high amount of mass but non-vital organs, and that is ripped straight from the patch notes. So most of the assault rifles feel a little bit better now when you're hitting non-vital areas, and I've been kind of testing each one of them out. br 14s feeling pretty good, 10 drives a bit improved, but I still need some more time to experiment, and definitely let me know in the comments what you guys have been playing with and what's been working good for you and what hasn't really been working with these changes. Oh, and then unrelated to any of the buffs to the stratagems or weapons, they did actually outright remove one of the mission modifiers. The specific one that they were referring to is the one that removes a stratagem slot from the entire mission. That one's gone from the game right now. Looks like they're going to rework it. Maybe they might bring it back. I don't worry. Either way, I don't care. I hope it never comes back. That one didn't seem like a challenge modifier to me. It felt like just unfun and that's really it that's all i had that i wanted to call attention to like i said there's plenty more that you can see in the full patch notes i didn't even touch about the recoil changes in regards to your stance but i'm really happy with it dude like overall uh, i've been playing all day i've been smashing it out i've been trying the new reworked 110 pods the gatling barrage the airburst strike with the new cooldown and uh, like i already said at the beginning i have been mwah, loving the orbital precision strike i don't know man overall i think this patch is what we needed it's a huge w most of the guns that I've tried have been fun. Crossbow is still eh. The Eruptor is still 
I, I like it. It's good utility. It's just not as good as it used to be. Maybe if they increase, increase the explosion radius, I feel like that might help in regards to clearing out some of the chaff that they mentioned that they wanted to do. But overall, man, I think it's a solid A-, minus. if not already, you know. I think it's a solid A-. minus. That's just really it. Y'all have a good day. Oh, no way. Oh, I wanted to hit him.